guys, Josephine here, and today I'm here to share with you my everyday makeup routine. This is so easy. This makeup look can be done by beginners. It's so quick, so simple. Absolutely love it. It's just a natural, bronzy, glowy look. So if you wanted to see how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, I'm going to start off with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And I use around three pumps of it because I have super dry skin. And then I'm also going to take this Fackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer by Laura Geller. Now the reason I mix those two together is because I have really dry skin. So not only mixing those two products hydrate your skin, but they also prime and set the face ready to apply your makeup. Putting my hair behind my ears, of course, because I forgot a ponytail. And now I'll be taking the Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray and spraying it all over my face just to add another thing to skincare and preparation for makeup. It feels really hydrating, that's why I love that spray. Now going right into foundation, we will be taking the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick and I'm in shade 118. I absolutely love this foundation because it's so lightweight and the coverage, you control the coverage. You can make it really full or really sheer. For an everyday basis, I like a really sheer coverage, but it's totally up to you. I'm using an oval brush to apply it. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. Blending is key. I take a lot of time in blending my foundation. Now going right into bronzing the skin, I use Hoola by Benefit. And then this bronzing brush, I'm sorry, there's no name on it. It's such an old brush, but any brush will do that's like nice and thick. And I just do the three. Now you have to get your neck because I'm really pale right now. And I want to look alive. So I'm going to be adding even more bronzer. And now since I looked a little botched, I just blended again with Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I just love using this to thin out anything. Now I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. This powder is amazing. I'm just taking a little bit because I still like really dewy, luminous skin, but I don't like my skin feeling like the makeup's going to fall off. So I use that powder. Now going into my Sephora blush, I just discovered Sephora blushes, and they are absolutely amazing. Um, this is in the shade So Shy. It's kind of matte, but has a little bit of shimmer to it. It just looks really nice on the skin, and it lasts all day. This day my skin was feeling a little dull, so I don't normally do this every day, but I thought I'd just show it. I use the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, and I basically, it has a highlighting shade and a bronzer shade, and I just use it um, on top of my blush deck just to add a sheer glow. Now going in with my Glow Gleam Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm taking the shade Crushed Pearl, and I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones along right on top of my brow bone. And then you'll see me further on in this video, put some on my forehead, bridge of my nose, right above my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Just to give an overall glowy look. I just like highlighter, especially because I don't use eyeshadow on a daily basis, so I just feel like highlighter just makes up for the lost eyeshadow. <laughs> that makes sense. So now this is weird, but yes, I'll be using a toothbrush to brush out my brows, which I do off camera, but it's just easy. And now I'm taking Mario Badesco's Rose Water Setting Spray just to set my face again. Now going right on to eyes. I'll be using YSL, I think it's Lady Doll or Lovely Doll. I think. It's just their mascara. I really love it. It's really good. I got it as a gift for Christmas just to make your eyes just more awake. And now I'm taking an EOS lip balm in vanilla and just putting on chapstick. It's very nothing exciting here. Usually I'll stop with just chapstick, but today for the video I decided to put gloss and this is the Rimmel Stay Glossy. It doesn't have a shade, but it has a number 3319. And then that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.